Hello guys, welcome to next video of this playlist Python for beginners. In this video, we will be exploring what are Python list. So, without wasting any time, let's move to our destination folder. As you can see, I have opened destination folder. Now, let's open this folder in VS Code. So, I will simply right click and open the folder in VS Code. So, let's open the file. Now, let's explore the source code that I have written for this video. So first line is of today's day number which is day number 17 and the title is list. So first is properties of list. Basically list have a lot of properties but for this video I have only focused on four properties of list. First is mutable which means we can modify the list elements. After that second is order which means we can access elements by giving their index. And the next property is dynamic, which means we can easily add remove elements in list, which is a good property. And last property is heterogeneous, which means a list can hold different types of data. For example, string, integer, boolean, and so on. So this was all about basic explanation of list. Now let's move the practical implementation of list. So line number 12 is the declaration of list. So list is declared using this two square brackets. So I can just write list one equal to this. So in this way we can declare the list and just write uh, store elements in list. So basically list is an inbuilt data type of python which is used to store collection of various data such as string, integer, boolean as discussed earlier. So this is declaration of list. So I have created a sample list using the variable my list equal to and the contents of list and let's print the list. So first I will just comment this part so we will not get disturbed. So I will simply run program now. So the output must be the list element and as you can see the output is in front of you. The list element has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now the next task is simply printing the type of list. So what is the data type of list? So when I run the program, the output is list. As you can see, the data type or class of list is list. It is similar to integer data type or string data type. Now let's move ahead by committing this part and just printing the length of the list. The length of the list can be printed using command length of and passing the list name. So len means the length function and passing the list to it. So when I simply run the program, the output must be 5 and as you can see the length of list is 5 and by the way I have used an upstream concept to print the length of list. So this was about basics of list. Now let's move to the next part which is heterogeneous and order part. So what type of data can list store? So list can simply store all types of data. So as you can see the list 1 is storing only string data, list 2 is storing integer data, list 3 is storing boolean data and list 4 is storing mix of all these data which means that a list is heterogeneous which fulfills this property. So let's run this part of code to verify. So as you can see it has printed string data, integer data, boolean data and mixed data also. Now let's comment this part and move ahead. So the next is accessing specific element. So this part of code will help us to identify the property name which is order. So let's try that. So element at index 2. So initially the element at index 2 is 3. Actually the numbering in the list starts from 0. So element as position 0 is 1 at position 1 is 2, at position 2 is 3. So let's check that. So the answer should be 3. And as you can see element at index 2 is 3 because indexing in any programming language starts from 0. That's why the answer is 3 as you can see. So let's comment this out and let's move ahead. So next is slicing of list. So we can print specific part of list using a special command which is called as name of the list and the sliced index. So here the list starts from index 1 and goes up to index 4. 
so let's run the code so as you can see the answer is 2 3 and 4 i will show you how, how it came so element at index 1 is 2 element at index 2 is 3 and element at index 3 is 4 so the elements are printed as 1 2 3 and it has not taken 4 because we have already discussed this concept in for loops and while loops that the property goes from first number to second last number and not the last number that's why it has just taken 1 2 and 3 and not 4 now let's explore the last property of the list which is modifying list elements so let's close the output and as you can see i have just tried to modify the second element of list so the second element of list is initially 3 i will just print the list for confirmation so this is current list and the code after this modification so let's run the program so as you can see this is the initial list which is 1 2 3 4 5 and modified list has become 1 2 10 instead of 3 4 and 5 so as you can see we have completed and tested all four properties of list so this was all about today's video if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends and if you face any queries while performing this simple code you can simply message me on instagram or in comment section below here comes the end of this video thanks for watching this video